Section 14 of the Letters of Lord Nelson to Lady Hamilton, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ruth Narrimore. The Letters of Lord Nelson to Lady Hamilton, Volume 1 by Horatio Nelson, Chapter 14. The Letters of Sir Alexander John Ball to Lady Hamilton. Letter 1. My dear madam, I cannot help loving and esteeming you very much, although you have proved such a false gypsy to me. Pray, do you recollect looking into my hand and telling me a pretty story of carrying home Sir William and Lady Hamilton, and co, and co? However, I forgive you, as you did not take money, and could only have in view giving me much pleasure. I beg leave to introduce to your ladyship's notice the Abbe Savoy who is a sensible man, and the most polished here. He has great influence with the Maltese. Pray, request Sir William to introduce him, particularly to Le Chevalier Acton. I shall have the pleasure of seeing you and Sir William Hamilton in England this summer. How very much I wished to be near you when you were reading the parliamentary effusions of gratitude and joy for the services Lord Nelson has rendered his country. I would rather be Lord Nelson than any duke, or indeed any man in England, and you may guess how very proud I am in having such a friend. Indeed, I feel that I owe more to him than any man in this world. I have written to Sir William. God bless you both. I remain with sincere respect and esteem, my dear madam, your ladyship's most devoted and obliged humble servant. Alexander John Ball Alexander, 9th of February, 1799 Davish Gold is signing for Palermo, alias Miss K., I wish the Admiral would let him recreate for a fortnight, and send Hardy to me again. Letter 2 My dear madam, I had the honour of writing to your ladyship and Sir William by the vanguard, since which I have read the few lines you had the goodness to address to me at the bottom of Lord Nelson's letter on the ninth inst. I cannot entertain any hopes of personally paying my respects to you and Sir William before your departure for England but be assured that I can never forget the very flattering attention you have both been pleased to honour me with. You must wait a month longer for the warm weather, otherwise the transition may be too great for Sir William. We are anxiously waiting for the Maltese deputies to return from Palermo. The inhabitants are critically situated, but I hope all will end well. Good news from you will determine it. I find that you fascinate all the navy, as much at Palermo as you did at Naples. If we had many such advocates, everybody would be a candidate for our profession. God bless and protect you and Sir William. May prosperous gales attend you, may you live a thousand years. Believe me, with sincere respect and esteem, my dear madam, your ladyship's most devoted and obliged servant, Alexander John Ball, 23rd of February, 1799. End of section 14 Recording by Ruth Narrimore, Oxfordshire.